Okay, so um, today's lecture is going to deal with resonance. But before we get into resonance, we actually need to uh, talk about a couple of things, or some, just a couple of things you need to know. You need to understand a little bit about dipoles and uh, electron flow and charges, um, and ma basically partial positives and partial negatives. And you need to understand that electrons will never flow away from a uh, plus charge they will always flow towards a plus charge you also need to know a little bit about calculating formal charges which we'll talk about uh, at another time <clears throat> but you do need to review it and I'll give you a resource for that later and also how to convert between skeletal and Lewis structures because many of your resonance forms are going to be uh, actual um, start off in skeletal form all right so let's get started by talking about what you're going to get out of this lecture Hopefully, I'm going to give you a definition of uh, resonance. Uh, I'm also going to show you how to look for molecules in which resonance is possible and understanding that resonance imparts stability. And understand how resonance imparts <coughs> stability. Uh, the more resonance forms that you're able to make, the more stable the, mo uh, the molecule will be. And so that's one of the take home messages. Everything in chemistry happens uh, for stability. Things like to go from less stable to more stable. And resonance is one way that um, molecules, particularly those that have charges, are able to uh, stabilize themselves. All right, so let's talk about the definition of what resonance is. Resonance is just an attempt to describe a chemical structure. Now, when you look in the book, you see. A single structure but what that single structure is is what's known as a hybrid a resonance hybrid so it's a combination of all of the resonance structures that are um, that that particular molecule can form <clears throat> and resonance structures are created by the movement of electrons atoms don't move okay you when you're doing resonance you don't move atoms you only move electrons which also brings up another point and that point is that um, there are only two ways to move electrons. You either move them by resonance or you move them by induction. Resonance moves physical electrons and induction moves electron density. You might want to jot that down. Uh, resonance moves electrons, induction moves electron density. Um, and resonance, when you really think about it, is sharing. You think of it this way. The more atoms uh, that electrons or a, a charge in this case can be shared across, the more stable the molecule is, and we, we call that, uh, the term for that is delocalization. I um, mean, when you think about resonance, I always use an analogy of making a, a peanut butter sandwich. You never just plop a big hunk of peanut butter in the middle of your bread. You always spread it out. And so charges, be it a, be it a negative charge or a positive charge, want to be spread out over as many atoms as possible. And that's that uh, observation is called delocalization. You take a localized charge, meaning that a charge may be sitting on one atom, and if you're able to spread that charge over multiple atoms, then it stabilizes the particular molecule. So, and when we look at resonance and ways to spot resonance, we're going to talk about resonance in terms of units, uh, two atom units or three atom units. One thing to remember is that. Uh, you, in order to do resonance, you must have a donor and an acceptor, right? The donor is can be a pair of electrons or it can be a pi bond. And an acceptor uh, can be a pi bond or a positively charged atom. So let's look at some examples. Here's an example of a two atom resonance unit. Notice I have a negative charge here and I have a positive charge here. And if I want to stabilize this or neutralize it, I can do resonance and I can push these electrons here. Notice they're going, the electrons are between the two atoms to make a pi bond. Right? So here's my negative charge, here's my donor, my positive charge is my acceptor, and they are adjacent to one another. Alright? So let's look at it again. So here's my electrons. When I take uh, this pair of electrons and I move it here between the two atoms notice I put a pi bond here and notice my arrow I start at the electrons and I'm moving that arrow here between the two atoms so the head of my arrow is showing where those electrons are ending up All right that's very important and also 
notice the arrow is two-sided right or double-headed uh, that means I'm moving two electrons you want to jot that down I'm moving two electrons because my arrow is double-headed okay, so let's look at another example here's a, a chemical example of a two atom unit if I move the electrons and the pi bond onto oxygen this is my resonance form and notice this is a double arrow so that means that I can revert from here to here and that's easily done if I just take these electrons and push them back here I reform that pi bond All right so let's here's another example of resonance and this is a three atom unit and notice I have a charge right this is an anion in this case so I have a negative charge here and I have a pi bond here so my donor is the negative charge my acceptor is my pi bond and notice these three atoms are adjacent normally if the atoms are not adjacent to one another then resonance is not possible All right? and so with anions you have to remember that if you want to draw one resonance form you're going to have to push two pairs of electrons in this case you'll see that we're going to push the lone pair as well as the pi bond that pi bond remember is a pair of electrons um, and, and for anions like this uh, pi bonds become lone pairs and lone pairs become pi bonds and then the charges have to match so if this resonance form is negative then the resonance form you get from that must also be negative so let, let, let me just illustrate it here notice this pair of electrons is coming here that's going to put a pi bond here and then this pi bond is breaking and pushing this pair of electrons onto this atom here alright let's look at it again right here's my pair of electrons being pushed here between the two atoms to create a new pi bond and here's my pi bond breaking and that pair of electrons is coming onto this atom all right here's an example of a three carbon unit notice all three of my carbons are adjacent I have my donor here I have my acceptor here this is an anion meaning this carbon has a negative charge all right and so now if I push this pair of electrons here between the two carbons the blue carbon and the red carbon here right I also have to break this pi bond and the only reason I have to break it is because this middle carbon will have five bonds to it if I didn't right? so one of the keys about resonance is that all your resonance forms have to be valid Lewis structures you can't just make things up all right so I break that pi bond and then here's my resonance form here where now the pair of electrons that was in the pi bond are now on this carbon and the pair of electrons that was here on this carbon had, uh, are now being used to make a pi bond between these two. Alright, cations are similar. Um, this is another, again, this is a three atom unit. And I'm going to take this pi bond and shift it to here. Alright, so what, I'm, what am I trying to do? I'm trying to stabilize this positive charge. And the only way to do that is to take a pair of electrons and move them. So let's look at the animation. I'm moving these electrons to here. I make a new pi bond here. And the plus charge is now on this terminal carbon here. So I, what I did in, in essence is to share this plus charge across all three of these atoms. All right. <clears throat> and so now here's an example of a cation. It's a three atom unit. I have a arrow here showing the movement of electrons and here's my new resonance form so I took these electrons and I moved them here and I have a plus charge here and that I'm trying to stabilize so I put a new pi bond here and a plus charge on this carbon 